you, you started with a loss against Barbies at Blairmont, um, but picked up momentum with two wins in, in the last two rounds. You're coming up against Barbies now in the final at home. Um, how confident are you guys and going into the moment with the momentum into this final? Not well, very confident. I mean, we came off with two very good victories. Um, against Barbies, I guess we dropped the ball a bit. You know, having bowled them out very cheaply, and then, you know, we didn't manage to get the runs. But the Barton team has, well, the Barton side of things, you know, we've been getting stronger game by game. So looking forward to this one, different pitch, you know, much better for batting, better, better cricket wicket, so looking forward right. to it. And reflecting on that, that, that first game you had there, that loss, um, were you able to tighten up some areas in the other two matches? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of it was just applying ourselves as batters. The bowlers did a tremendous job in all three of the games. You know, it was just a matter of the batting um, clicking. So, um, TH got some runs, you know, he's been a rock for us at the top of the order. And it's just for the, the other guys to bat around him and hopefully some other guys get some scores. Right, you mentioned Tate, um, two half centuries winning the game there uh, chasing. Is it a deliberate ploy to, to have him play that role and you guys bat around him there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's his strength is the way he plays. You know, he spends a lot of time in the crease. Um, so it's, it's really, and the other batters are a bit more free scoring. So it's important to have those um, those type of players in your team and every every piece, you know, fit together. Right, um, and finally for me, tomorrow you're looking to, of course, top the defending champions. What do you think would be key in this game tomorrow? Yeah, well, obviously, um, for the last two to three years, you know, most uh, Guyana bowlers have been coming from Borbees. Um, and we have a lot of Guyana batsmen, you know, national batsmen in our team. So the difference will be, you know, the, how well we play their bowlers. So, uh, three wins on the track, you're heading into the final with lots of confidence. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we've been playing some, some good cricket. For the past three games, I've said that I think the batting hasn't been up to standard, but the bowling has been the, the better for us so far. Right, um, Kevin did mention the batting for the Amara is also a concern. As a senior player, what do you think is the reason for, for these low scores? I think probably application at the crease, you know, is, is fifth over. You still have to spend the time, and you know, once you spend the time at the crease, eventually you'll, you got the runs, you score, it becomes easier. I think the application is one of the most important thing that lacquer most batsmen in this tournament. Right, you've seen Kevin Sinclair do well for, for Borbis. Um, Shepard got some wickets yesterday, yourself got a five wicket on it. must be good that players are chipping in every game. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, I think we probably get the best bowling attack in the competition. Um, having said that, at the same time, you got to come out and execute and um, put the ball in the right areas to, to get success. Right. And, and what do you think, would, as I meant, as I asked, uh, Kevin, what do you think would be key tomorrow to winning this tournament? I think whichever team play better cricket on the day because it's, it's 50 over and it got, uh, it's a lot of time. Um, I know them are batting us coming back from the forest game. They're batting decent the past two games. Having said that, we don't want to take them lightly. Um, although we got the, the best ball and attack, at the same time, it's cricket. Anything could happen.